here's the deal. I want to show you the actual pack and kind of give you an idea. But what we're going to do this time, okay, is I'm going to pick somebody here that's live, okay? So it's going to be one of you live viewers. And I'm going to pick one of you. And what we're going to do is I'm going to make you a custom shirt right here in front of everybody. All right, and play it off kind of like you're a customer coming to order something for me that will help you guys, right? And then with your next order that requires shipping, I'm going to put those shirts in the box for you and you're going to get the shirts, okay? So even if it's not the exact size or whatever or you don't have a newborn, it's still really awesome to, to be able to show your customers as samples or maybe you have a friend that has a newborn and we can make it for them, right? So... That's what we're going to do. So first thing we need to do in order to do that, all right, is to make sure and we are going to, Jonathan, did you already send out the push notification? Okay. So you guys should be getting the push notification here soon. Hasn't come through to my phone yet, but it probably will in a minute. But make sure I'm going to pick, Jonathan, we're going to pick from, from the shares this time. Okay, and you can just scroll through and pick. Okay, so for the first one that we're going to do, we're going to pick from the shares. So everybody that's on here, make sure to like, comment, and share real quick. Because we're going to have a few different winners and different things we're going to do throughout the day. But one of my favorite things that I'm going to do here today is show you a way where with what I'm creating, I can have less scrap vinyl okay by arranging in different ways but then also be able to create some really cool and unique products for not necessarily even your customers but for yourself to create some pretty cool things and i don't want to say what it is because i don't want to give it away right now but when you see it you'll be like holy crap that's pretty cool i can do that and it's going to make what i do look pretty cool for different things that we're doing all right so Jonathan, let's get started on if you can just pull up the shares on your end and scroll through and pick me a random winner for our shares here. And then we are going to let them choose what template they want to make. All right. So you let me know whenever you get it. If you can switch me over to the computer while you're doing that real quick, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show all of you here where this live template pack is. Okay. So if I come in here to the website and I go to shop, artwork packs, and mini packs. So the parent child mini pack is the one that we're working with here today. So come tomorrow when we email about this, it's going to be $50. Of course, as you guys know, for the Facebook Live special, we're going to be at $40. So it's $10 off. So you're going to get that special pricing and then you're going to get 65% off of that using our normal coupon code. All right. So here we go. You can see some of the different designs here. That's our chip off the old block. We have the control V and let me actually pull it up in Corel draw here and you'll be able to see some better images. So I'm going to go to open templates. I'm going to go to the parent child mini pack and then the CDR files. So here you can see them a little bit better. We have our baby bear and mama bear. We have Biggie Smalls. We got Mamacita and Chica Bonita. This one's pretty cool. So for the parent version, everyone knows I'm the captain of this ship. That's the way I feel sometimes. But then obviously Lorene and Madison would probably wear this shirt saying they call me the first mate, but I run this ship. So all of that text, you can change to whatever you want. And that's what's really cool about it. You don't have to necessarily put what we have here. We're just giving you ideas with the text, right? But with the live templates, you can change them to whatever you want, okay? So next one, there's our chip and the old block one. We have our control v and control c so again a live template control c i would wear the one that says perfection copied and then control v bino would wear the one that says perfection almost pasted right 
And then I was even thinking, this is probably bad, right? I was also thinking, imagine, I don't know, worst case scenario, they're in high school and, and um, the girlfriend breaks up with her boyfriend. Well, then the girlfriend can buy the boyfriend a shirt that says Control X and it says deleted. Right? Because that V in that template is also a live template. So I could change it to Control X or whatever I want. Again, you can get as creative as you want with it. We could put Control X and just basically delete the Mets from Major League Baseball. How'd that go yesterday, by the way, Bino? Uh, it uh, went pretty well for us. Yeah, it did go pretty well yeah. for us, didn't it? It did. Yeah, we should basically create Mets suck coupon codes all the time because they basically do kind of suck, right? It was proven last night. It was proven last night. I agree. Gabe's on here. Oh, Gabe, I didn't even see you on here. I wouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. So most of you guys know what was going on yesterday and the whole Mets thing and the Cubs and Gabe trying to talk a little bit of trash and saying that the Mets are good and didn't work out too well. Um, next, we got Mama Hen and the Little Chick. We got Mom and the Little Helper. We got Mama Mermaid and Mini Mermaid. We got what happens in our house a lot. Me thinking, or Lorreen thinking, that we're the rule makers, but then Madison and Jax being the rule breakers. I was always the rule breaker, okay? Then we got the wine game is strong. And then the kids won, wine game stronger. We got, I love to wine with the wine bottle or the wine glass. And then the kids version being, I love to wine with an H, obviously. All right. So let's pick our first winner. And they have to be here still in order to decide who we're going to make a template for first. And our first winner is, who we got, Bino? There we go. Our first winner is going to be Brandy Hughes. Brandy, are you still here? Brandy, if you're still here, let me know which layout you want to make, and I'm going to make an adult version and a kid's version for you. Okay? Brandy Hughes. Brandy, you have, what do we got? You know, 30 seconds for Brandy to respond here. Kneecaps in the house. Brandy, are you still here? I see a lot of people wanting to be Brandy right now. I see Brittany pretty close to Brandy. Brandy, there you go. I want the princess, okay? So, let's come in here. My favorite princess calls me, and then my favorite queen calls me. That's the one you want, Brandy? So, what do you say we do this in, let's do it in the, maybe the rose gold electric. That would look pretty sweet, I think. So, we're going to do it in a rose gold electric. Hey, Gabe, can you grab me um, two feet of rose gold electric, please? So, Brandy, let's go ahead and pull up the template here. So, first one I'm going to pull up is here. What's the custom name, Brandy, that you want on this? Okay, so you can see my favorite queen calls me Madison. Okay. So what do we got for the word Madison there, Brandy? Let me know on that one. And then I'm also going to open up the other template here. And, you know, if you see her respond here, let me know, please. Um, let's go to the other one. And I'm going to take this here. You got the spelling for that? So, do you want A-L-Y-S-S-A? -S -S okay, got it. So, to change that, all I'm going to do is on my template here, I'm going to go to Find Text. And instead of Madison A L y s s a i got my favorite queen calls me Alyssa, and if i want to i can arrange this however i want maybe i want the Alyssa a little bit closer there a little bit down there okay 
So we're good to go with that. Now I have some crazy detail in this crown design right here, but we're still going to try and cut it, okay? Because I want to show you guys, and I can enlarge the crown a little bit if I want as well. So we're going to have two different versions here, and we're going to go in the rose gold, and I am going to do, Brandy, do you want, I have a medium J America shirt and a large J America shirt. Let me know which you would like of these two. Medium or the large, and then we're going to get our measurements down. Thank you, sir. How the Mets do last night? I knew, I knew this was a trap. <laughs> Gabe, how the Mets do last night? Three did, more games to go, Matt. Did they play? Three, you got spanked. <laughs> you got absolutely spanked. I watched to the end till the very last out, hoping that something would happen, and it didn't. And nothing happened. A lot happened, actually. Where's yeah. going to break his legs? Yeah. <laughs> Um, and Lisa has an XL in her office. Okay. So what did we say? A large? Okay. Let's go with the large. So what's that? Yeah. Large. All right. So we got our large. I'm coming. Let's go back to the computer here. Medium. She said medium. Okay. We're going with medium. Boom. Thanks, Lisa. All right. So my favorite queen calls me Alyssa. Got crazy detail in this design. Now, I'm going to take this, and it's 9.7 inches wide, okay? So, this is obviously going to be... Who's this shirt for? My favorite queen calls me Alyssa. So, this is for the mom or the, or the daughter? What do you think, Bino? Putting you on the spot here. The other one says, my favorite princess calls me mom. There you go. So... My favorite queen calls me Alyssa. Take this design. Now, I need to get this to a onesie size, all right? So this is where this is going to get a little crazy, all right? Because when I look at this right here, to get this crown to a onesie size is going to be pretty insane. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we're sure going to try it and see, okay? Because we're getting pretty detailed. So to get my width on this shirt right here, I got a 24 month shirt, but um, can you get, what size is she looking at? Or how old is Alyssa? We might have a youth shirt. Um, Alyssa, or not Alyssa, um, Brandy? Brandy, how old is your daughter? Or if it's your daughter or whoever it is. We might be able to find a youth shirt as well. If they're not an infant. Um, Bino, can you go see if... Oh, Lisa has some youth shirts too. She's five. Okay, Lisa, you have anything for a five-year-old? A white, a white shirt for a five-year-old? If not, um, Bino, will you go see if Bino... Or Bino, will you go see if Bino... Will you go see, please, if um, Philip has any small or extra small of like the youth burnouts? White. That'll look good with the rose gold. Okay, Brandy, we're going to try and get a size for you there. So, we can start getting this one, the adult version, ready. So, Bino just went over here, so we're going to bring it back with the software here in just a minute. But, my favorite princess calls me mom, is that part of the design. So, we know that that part's good. Like a 5T. That should work. Yes, 5T. Okay, sweet. We'll get as close as we can. Better than nothing, right? Alright, they're searching out some shirts here. And we are going to go ahead and start this. And we need to get... I'm going to be cutting here on our graph tech. Okay? I'm going to be cutting here on the graph tech. And then we're going to be going in and weeding it. And then pressing it as well. Okay? So, as you know, I have most of the men shirts here. we got a couple of the J America glitters. But if we're going to make something for somebody, then I want to try and get it in a size that they can actually use it as well. 
That's an extra small. That's probably pretty small. This is a youth medium, but it's not white. But I keep more over here. Do they, does, do they have a small at all? Does, yeah. How does this look? It's an extra small. That looks like a two T maybe. Yeah, it does look pretty small. We're gonna try and get a small, and that should be good. So we'll get it, and this is gonna be looking perfect. So. While we're doing this right here, and while they're rounding up some different sizes, what I want to do is, any questions that you guys have, okay, with any of this stuff, like the super font, stuff like that. While they're rounding up some shirts here, we were, I was thinking about having a contest with maybe Gabe and I, or Bino and I, with the old block and the chip, and the loser had to wear... The chip shirt here. That would be pretty good, right? But obviously, I don't think he would fall for that one. We got a small? Yep. Sweet. All right, we're good to go. He just wants to know these are no longer good. Okay. All right, we got a small. This will be good for a five year old. So, Bino, can you hook me up over here with the cutter? Yep. So, we got a Graftec CE6000 vinyl cutter here. I'm going to go ahead and load my material in here. Now, with the vinyl cutter here, you're going to see these blue lines, okay? With these blue lines, that's where your pinch rollers have to actually go, okay? So, if I had this off to the side, and this is a pretty cool feature with the graph deck, watch. If I'm misaligned here, and I drop this down, and I hit one for front edge, see what happened? It says air realign pinch rollers, okay? So now that I know that my pinch rollers are misaligned, I know that I need to fix it. So let's go ahead and get it onto my blue area over here where you can feel the actual grids. And I got my left side aligned and my right side aligned. Now I'm using our rose gold easy weave, okay? So I'm going to hit one for front edge. Bring that to the front there, and I'm ready to cut. Now I'm cutting with a 45 degree blade here. So with my 45 degree blade, I normally use about a 10 to 12 for my cut setting. So let's go ahead and set these designs up real quick. So on this one here, my favorite princess calls me mom. So that's going to be obviously the mom design. So let's get my medium here. Um, the Graph Tech does only have two pinch rollers, yes. The Graph Tech is super, super easy to use. And that's why I wanted to actually cut on it here today to show you how easy it is with your cut files and stuff. So I'm going to get my measurement here real quick. Just say, okay, I want it about 9.5 inches wide. So this is my mom design. Let's go ahead and get this to width 9.5 and I'm good to go. Now, what I always like to do, you'll see me do this a lot. If I click weld right here, that just welded my design together and I'm good to go, okay? So now I'm gonna copy this, remember our control C, and paste it over to this page, just so I have both of them there. Now, with the youth version, I wanna check my shirt size here, and I'm just gonna measure, and I wanna go probably about I'm gonna say about seven and a half inches wide, okay? So width is right here, 7.5, and I'm good to go with that. Highlight it all, and I'm gonna go ahead and click weld again. So a ton of detail in there, like I was saying, guys, but we'll see how it comes out. I would rather try to cut too much, and then if I have to, get rid of some of the inside areas. So now we're gonna go ahead and align our design here. So I'm at 7.5 by 6 and 9.5 by 7. So I want to try and cut it widthwise across this. So I'm going to go rotate it 90 degrees, and then I'm going to come over here and rotate it 90 degrees. Let's bring it right up into here. And now I'm at 13.1 inches. 
So I know that this is going to fit perfectly on the width of my final cutter here. Now what I also want to do, and this is kind of the secret I was going to show you guys, check this out. I'm going to come up, see all these dead areas in here, dead area right there, dead area right there, all of this stuff, right? Watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to click on my text and my daughter is Madison Barbara Vassalo. And I'm just going to use my thick mono font. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to change to the right. And this MVB right here, I want it to be, let's say about 0.9 inches tall. Now, most of you have no clue what I'm doing right here, which is fine. I'm going to show you what it's going to come out to be in a minute. So, I'm going at about 0.9 inches tall. And I'm going to drop that right there. I can see with my width here. And then I'm going to go maybe here and here and here. Anybody know what I'm doing with this right here? You're going to be pretty amazed at what I'm going to do with this, okay? And it's pretty freaking cool. And I can fill in all of those different spots. If I wanted to throw one up right there, I could throw it there and in these, because it's going to cut this area anyway, and it's going to be wasted anyway, right? So now that I have all of this, what I want to do is I'm going to go to templates, and I'm going to do my vinyl overcut. So once I have my vinyl overcut, what that's actually doing is it's creating, as you guys know, that special vinyl overcut feature, but it created it right now into multiple cuts, okay? Why do you think it did that? And I wanted to click on this so you could see this. Why do you think it created it into multiple cuts like that? There's a reason why, and we're cutting it out in our rose gold, so we don't want it to cut like that, right? We want it to come out into one actual template. So, in order to do that, we could do it a couple different ways. We can do it on the current page and merge them together, but the easiest way is just turn them all to the same color. So I can come over here, it doesn't matter what color, let's just change them all to black, and then do my vinyl overcut. So now what it's doing is it's looking at that one color, and it's going to take that and create our vinyl overcut, okay? So now it's all on one template. So let's look at my template size. I'm 10 inches tall by 13.6 wide. I think I'm pretty good with this. So let's go ahead and go to launch and send cut lines to CM3. I'm going to check my cutter over here, make sure I'm right to my edges. All good there. All good there. Drop that down because 13.6 is pushing it. Remember, this is only 15 inch wide material, but you've got your pinch rollers involved. So now that we have everything here, all right, now I'm going to come over to my cut settings my condition, and I'm going to cut this at a force of 12. So let's go ahead and hit send. And now my cut has started, okay? So we can leave this cutting now, and I'll come back, and we're going to come over and press these other shirts real quick. But any questions real quick on setting up my cut right there? I know that my magic number is normally about 13.5 to 13.8 inches, depending on how close I get my pinch rollers to the edge. That's kind of my magic number on it, on 15 inch wide material like this. But I want to get that as close to those edges as I can to waste as little as possible, okay? Yes, I did mirror it, so when I clicked on that vinyl overcut, the TRW Design Wizard software automatically mirrored it for me. All right? Uh, that's awesome. Why do you have to take the pinch rollers into account when they're behind? So you're always going to take the pinch rollers because the, the blade goes right next to the pinch rollers. 
okay and depending on different some of the cutters have three pinch rollers i honestly don't like the three pinch rollers because that middle pinch roller especially on magic flock and some of the thicker material it forms kind of a groove in the actual pinch roller and when it cuts sometimes it can cut a little bit weird because it's kind of pushing down on that area okay um can you repeat when you did the vinyl overcut so the vinyl overcut part all i did is click this button right here my vinyl overcut button um the code for today's release of this pack is the normal trw release dash 65 all right all right while this is cutting let's head over to, to the heat press real quick and press our chip off the old block shirts so First one we're going to do, I got my white district made shirt from Sanmar here. So I'm just going to go ahead and load my shirt up to my press here. Check that real quick. Come down with a quick little pre-press. I'm at 305. I'm going to go ahead and get this lined up. You guys know I'm looking at this off the middle to get everything lined up there. And then I'm going to check the armpits. And I'm going to say I'm good right about there. And take a peek. And I'm going to say I'm pretty good. Okay? I'm good with pretty good. Let's go ahead and press it. I'm going to press this for 10 to 12 seconds. Todd, which cutter do you have? Yes, that will become an issue, with, especially with some circles. Okay? So that can definitely be an issue. All right, we're good there. Let's go ahead and peel this off and boom. There's our first shirt. Good to go on that. Let's set this over here. And now let's make the kids version of it. Now, a lot of people will tell you, okay, this is raised up a little bit and you can't press it and just put a little more pressure on it. It'll get down to that because this pad has some give on it. So, you come here, come with a quick little pre-press. And let's drop our chip on here. That looks pretty good. I'm good with pretty good. And let's press that down. I don't like to spend the extra time to put something under the shirt there. I know that I'm going to get enough pressure for this, for this to press okay. You can see that peeled off perfect. All right. There we go. So we got our onesie version. And... Our adult version of chip off the old block so obviously I would probably be the old block and Jackson back in the day would have been the chip off this old block all right so we'll give these shirts away at the end here as well next thing we got you can hear my cutter still rocking and rolling over here is remember all of those little monograms that I cut out I don't like to uh, let me answer a few of the questions I don't really like to use the pillow when I don't have to okay if it's a bag that has big handles and things like that then I might but it's just extra time you guys know I'm not a big fan of spending extra time on stuff all right you can if it makes you more comfortable using the pillow and putting it inside you can i just like to press it quick get it over with i know that i have enough pressure to be able to do it okay um i thought that too until i got the versacam and it only had two rollers and you know that that versacam's big and for it to only have two rollers you know that it's feeding good okay so two rollers is plenty you don't have to have three rollers like some of the cutters have like i said i actually prefer the two rollers <coughs> can the artwork packs be used with silhouette 
Yes and no. And what I mean by that, like the chip off the old block design, you can just type in chip and old block. You get the SVG versions as well. So the live templates don't work perfect. However, you can actually use all of the clip arts and the layout of the design, and that's obviously the most important part of it. So these aren't real detailed designs when it comes to um, the designs and envelopes and everything else. So that's why it'll be really easy in Designer Edition or any of the other software to actually do that. All right, Todd, I still haven't seen, I still haven't seen the video yet. Where's the vi Where is this secret video at? I need to see this thing. What's up, Rhonda from Tennessee? How are you? Alright, so I actually have my cut settings here on the graphic. I had it set to, let me see, 20, 29. Okay? So that's on, honestly about half the speed that this cutter can go. But can you guys even really hear this thing? It's pretty freaking quiet, isn't it? So what's nice about this graph tech is, number one, how quick it is, but number two, how quiet it is, okay? <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's multiple videos out there. All right, all right. I like it. Okay, so now what I want to do, let's go ahead and... Get setting up here because we do, here's the deal, we do have to finish on time today. And the reason why we have to finish on time is Lisa actually has a webinar at 3 p.m. It's a free webinar, okay? And that one is going to be going over uh, Silhouette Designer Edition and Business Edition with the kind of comparing it with the TRW Design Wizard. So that's going to be an awesome free webinar that she's going to be doing starting at 3 o'clock. So as soon as you guys leave here, then you get to go into that webinar. It's a full day of TRW, right? So she's getting prepared for her webinar now, and then we will be good to go. So we got one giveaway here already. Again, even if it doesn't fit you, that's fine. Using it as a sample for your customers to show them what it's going to look like. I see, I saw a few of you asking about the decals that are on the table right here. What these are, are the different, and you can see I made the softball one as well. These are the different decals from the rhinestone decal pack that we released last night. So the 65% off does work on these as well, okay? Pretty sweet, right? All right, finish. Come back over here to the cutter. I want to show you something. This is honestly one of my favorite features with the graph tech, all right? So normally with a lot of your cutters, your cameos and all the others, you have to hit this down arrow and it's gonna feed the material out. Then you're gonna trim it off. Then you gotta bring it back and set it all up again, right? Watch what I can do. I can hit one to view it and that's going to bring my material out so I can trim it. And then if I want it to go back to the home position, I hit two and it brings it back to the home position and we're ready to go. So I'm just gonna hit one to bring my material out here and let's go ahead and trim across this. All right, so have my material here. How can I make this actual design easier to weed? Who's got a tip for me? How can I make this easier to weed? Um, Lisa's webinar show, I think it is recorded. How can I make this easier to weed? Who's got the tip for me? Um, yeah, I'm going to be coming right here to weed it, you know. There you go. So, I'm going to come over here to the heat press. And then on the press over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press my press down here. And then I'm just going to set my material on my press here. All right. So now I'm going to start weeding my design. Is 
this not stupid, guys? And by stupid, I mean really sweet. How easy is all of this material coming up here? And there's some pretty fine cuts in this as well, aren't there? Look at that. This is what we call a magic trick right here. How sweet was that? Now I can start picking out, obviously, all of my inside cavities here. Good with that. Come over here. Let's grab my A there, my E there. Boom, good with that. Now I gotta start getting the inside area here out. And this is where it gets a little bit more difficult because we got to make sure that we're pulling out the right area. Look at this. Can you guys see this as it's pulling out here? How cool is that? Look at it just follow along. That right there, that was sweet. I wish I would have videoed that up close. That right there is the difference between using a graph tech and some of your other cutters. And like when I said, you guys will hear me say all the time, the amount of time that you save, the amount of time that you save in the weeding process when you're using a cutter like this, it's pretty ridiculous. Here, I got another one right here. Let's see. I'm just gonna pull this up. Look at it, it's almost like it's drawing it. That is so cool. Pull this here, boom, little inside area there. This is weeding, freaking awesome. And all those little cuts, has anybody figured out what I'm gonna use those little cuts for yet? Anybody with me? So I use, I see some of you asking, I use the 45 degree blade on this one, okay? 45 degree blade and I use the vinyl overcut feature which is a huge reason why this is weeding so easy okay so because I use that vinyl overcut it finishes off each of those cuts perfectly and that's one of probably the biggest reason why I'm weeding this so easy now in combination with heating it up on the press so anybody out there, do any of you actually own, any of you actually own the weeding station? We can sell the weeding stations. I've still yet to this day never sold one because I have a weeding station right here in my heat press and I don't have to spend any more money on it. So... You guys know me, I'm big into finding different ways to save money on it. All right, so we're good to go there. Let me get a couple, I'm gonna just get a couple of these little inside cavities done just to show you what I'm gonna do with this because this is so cool. I'm telling you, if you guys learn anything today, it will be, you'll do what I'm gonna do with these little monograms because it's pretty cool and it makes some things that you might do on a regular basis, not even to do with your business, pretty cool and unique. I've done them for, with different things that Maddie's done for a while. Okay, so now this is where we're getting to the area where I don't think, honestly, I don't think that these are going to weed, just looking at the way they are, but we're gonna try it and see what we can get away with because this is probably the, the line is so thin, I can't even see the cut line. So what I wanna do is I wanna try to see if it's possible to even find that cut line. Go here. Wow, that is literally the thinnest line I have seen. 
So the way that I'm pulling it here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it weed what it can, and then anything that it can't, we'll just pull it out. All right? So got all of that good. And what we'll probably do is probably going to have to clean up this file just a little bit because I can see how difficult this is going to be. Because it's for the, the kids version, it's obviously a lot smaller. So it's going to make it a lot more difficult. All right. So let me get that here. Come across this here. And I'm just going to kind of dumb down the crown here a little bit. And that's why, like I was saying before, I always cut out the full amount and then you can always make the adjustment based on what actually weeds and what you can get away with. So we got away with a good amount of it still here. Let's go ahead and grab my inside cavity here. That looks good. Inside cavity here. Inside cavity here. And here. Get this here. And I'm going to get you guys questions here in just a minute. Let me just finish getting these out. That out there. And then I got a couple little outside areas here. Good to go. And I think there's an inside cavity on this as well. Boom. And boom. And boom. All right. Trying to just trying to see, make sure I didn't miss any. It looks like I'm all good. I'm just matching up my inside cavities here to make sure I didn't miss any of them. But looks like I got most of them right there and it's evening out good. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, come back here and I'm gonna take out my outside area here. Obviously I don't need all of that. So let me take this and weed out my box around it. And first thing I want to show you is with my little monogram, what my plan is with that. I didn't see anybody guess it yet, but check this out. I'm going to take this little monogram here of the MVB. So I got this little MVB. Let me get out the inside cavity of the B and the inside cavity of this B. So with this right here, I'm going to come back over to the heat press here. And remember, I cut like 20, of, uh, maybe 15, 10, 15 of them. Maddie's got to send out some thank you cards for her birthday. Right? So I'm going to throw her monogram initials right on the top of that. Bring that over. I'm going to press this for five seconds. Good to go. And I pressed the actual paper. Okay. Now, peel that off. And I have a custom thank you card. How sweet is that? So all of that extra area... I didn't spend any extra money to be able to make this, right? That was just all that extra area that I had in my cut file there. How cool is that? And look at the, I'm not sure if you can really see the rose gold there, but how it's got that shiny look to it. Is that not cool? So now Madison, for all of her thank you cards for her birthday presents that she got, she can write it out, but now it's a customized thank you card. And honestly, I would rather have one that maybe even didn't say thank you. And then I would have thrown a big monogram right there in the middle. So when we do stuff like this, guys, all of that area right there, 
it was going to cut it anyway, right? So honestly, I could have fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably 10 more of those on it at absolutely no extra cost. And now I have customized thank you cards. And I used it with my press, pressed it for five seconds. All right. So I've done it with the brick material. I've done it with the glitter. You can do it with any of the different colors and, and styles of heat transfer vinyl. And it's normally about a five second press. All right. So a lot of things I always try to give you guys, again, different ideas that may help you. And this is one that I think is pretty dang cool. So now every time you're writing out a thank you card, it can be completely customized and you're not spending any extra money on it. It's just a scrap that you would have thrown in a box anyway, right? So let's go ahead and get this file cut here. We're good to go with this. We have our mom version of the design. And then we have our child's version. Uh-oh, I do see an area of an inside cavity here, I think. Let me see. I do, okay. On my crown here, I gotta fix one more area. It looks like these inside areas are actually pulling out. So let me fix those real quick to make sure that we're all looking the same. Good there and good there. Um, yeah, you guys, we've been pressing HTV to all types of things recently, right? So remember, heat transfer vinyl has an adhesive on the back of it. So what that means is it's going to press to a lot more things than you think it can press to, like paper, like bling anything. All of these different things and crazy things that we've been doing recently. Here's when I know that it can't press to something, is when I try it and it doesn't work. And most of the things I've been trying have been working. So obviously we've been making the videos showing you all of them. Sorry, I missed a couple of the inside cavities on this real, real fine crown here. But what I'm going to do with this crown is, for those of you who get the pack, I'm going to go in and redesign this crown a little bit for you guys and just simplify it some just to make it so it's not quite as detailed for you, okay? And what that's going to do is it's just going to make it a lot easier to weed it for all of you. Because this is pretty intricate, and even with the graph tech and the easy weed, honestly, you Cameo users probably would not be very effective at cutting this, just seeing the, the, the way that I'm cutting it here and weeding it. And I'm almost done here. Get this inside area there. I think I have one more here. And I think we are good to go. All right. So, got my crown there. My crown here. Let's go ahead and press these to the shirts real quick. So, on the mom shirt, we're going to go with the J America medium here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that lined up. Good to go there. Come down with my quick little pre-press and let's grab the mom design here. Sizing looks great. Check my armpits. I'm good to go there. Going across inside cavities look good to go. And let's go ahead and press this design. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, and we're going, I have it set for 15, so I'm going to go 10 seconds here. Good to go with that. And peel that baby off there. And we have our mom design done in the rose gold. Pretty sweet, huh? Now we're going to come back with our youth version. Let's go ahead and grab our next level here. Give that a quick little press. 
and oh you know what let me see my pick tool here I do see one last area right here all right let's go ahead and get this lined up heart right across the top right there this is gonna look sweet boom everything looks nice and straight and let's go ahead and drop this down and again about 10 seconds on this one register to go to long beach maybe i'll see you guys there this time last time you guys were stacked three people deep yeah long beach normally gets pretty crazy yes it does um lisa's webinar it starts at 3 p.m okay and it is going to be showing some different things for all of you cameo users with the designer edition and business i think she might be doing something with the business edition as well do you know Bino? okay lisa said she posted a link on the facebook page sweet all right and then we got the kids version right there so show you both of them up front here brandy there's the kids version of this design and then we got mom's version of this design and the rose gold looks pretty dang sweet i think it would look good on me should i try it on right now yeah i think so too so brandy next order that requires shipping these two shirts are yours okay so I promised you guys I was going to be done in time today so you had time to grab a snack and then get into Lisa's webinar at 3 p.m. It's going to be an awesome webinar for software.